My guest is Heather. Heather, why are you here? I'm here today because my boyfriend is being blamed for a baby that his ex had, and I want to find out if it's true. He's being, um, the ex is saying that uh, your boyfriend had a baby with her. Yes. And you don't believe it is? I don't believe it's true because she's Is she blind. saying she slept with him while he was with you? She said that. She said he cheated on me before with her, and I, that's another reason I'm here. I want to find out if it's true. Um, do you think he is cheating on you? I have a feeling. Yeah, I do, actually. Oh, you do? Yeah, other people told me he's messed around with me, and I just I want to find out the truth. And why would you stay with a guy that everybody's telling you that he's fooling around? Because I'm stupid, you know. <laughs> I, 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 Wait, let's give her a lie detector test. <laughs> 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 Is he nice to you? Some, when he's not drinking. When he's not drinking? Yeah. Okay, so when he's drinking, he's not nice to you? When he's drinking, he's, he can be mean. He, he can be he, mean. He can be violent. He can be violent. Okay. You know, again, like, if, like, say you were my daughter, and you were coming to me and saying that your boyfriend gets violent when he gets drunk and he's mean, as your father, what would I tell you? <laughs> to leave him. Yes. She claimed to have been pregnant by him once before. Tell me about that. Yeah, she claimed that she was pregnant by him back in 2008. Dan went back to her in 2010, and she claimed that her family member had her baby, and it had been traded for crack. Well, Dan came across the family member and confronted the family member herself, and she claimed that there was had never been no baby. Now, you seem like a very sweet girl. I am. You do. I'm, I'm not just saying it. You seem like a very sweet girl. What is it that, you know, keeps you hanging out to this guy? I think it's because they think he loves me and he cares about me. But you don't think anybody else could love you? Yeah, I know they could. Well, then what's so special about him? I don't know. Unless I, I see know. Brad Pitt walking out that door, I'm not going to understand it. <laughs> Stop swearing. Stop swearing. On TV, stop swearing. You know you're a liar, Felicia. You know the oh, truth's gonna come out. Why don't you come over here you know and say this? No, 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 fight. Stay over there. You're so a compulsive liar. Dude. You have ruined my relationship. You know, Dan, How did it's I my soon to be husband. How did I ruin your because relationship? Because you came in and interfered, Felicia. It's not my fault. Do you he think that you think you're somebody else's man? No. You were dating her boyfriend at one time? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And, you know, people break up. You're young. You are also 19 years old. You guys are teenagers. That's what happens when you're young. You date people, you move on until you find the right person. But now she says that there's a story um, you told Dan that one time you were pregnant, that you had the child, that you gave it to uh, a family member, and then the family member gave the baby away for I drugs. don't know where that's coming from. So you never told Dan See, that? we've got no. pictures, too, that she sent to herself and stating that that was her, his daughter. No. Why didn't you take a lie detector test, then? Because we came on this show to prove to your deadbeat boyfriend that he's the father of my child. I guess Dan is on the show today. He did take a lie detector test, um, and we also have a, a DNA test, I believe. Um, we did offer you a lie detector test. Why, why would you not take it? Because I came here to prove to her and Dan that that was his baby. That's the only reason why I came here. So is it, would you be fair to say that maybe it did make up a little crazy story? I thought I was pregnant, yes, okay. but I never said nothing about okay. nobody okay. selling so it for Okay, so it maybe got mixed up, but there was some story that you, you gave birth to a child? No, it never you went said that you were far. pregnant. Yep. Okay. Um, what if he's still sleeping with her? Then it's done. He is it's not. Over with. I don't want it's him. With. Why can't you get that through your it's head? With. So, so he, you haven't slept with him since he's been with her. It's not I haven't slept with him Facebook. since I was four months pregnant. And you haven't. And how slept long ago was that? He's a month old now. So like. That's like six months ago. How long have you been dating this guy? Um, off and on for four years. Four years. Oh, yeah. So you knew about her when you were with him? He left her for me. Because you interfered with our relationship. It wouldn't have been for you. Look, we would have still been look, together. Honey, we would I have can't been help here you. Today. Today. you. Look okay. at you. Nobody goes to oh, be with okay, you. Okay, we'll see what somebody comes out here. We'll see about that. What's your name? Ew, I can't help it. Help it. He left you, honey. Well, can't help it. Who's he with now? Felicia, who's he with now? But, because wait, I don't on. want him. Yeah, hold oh, okay, on. I'm sure. But we're talking about when you were 15 years old. So, I mean, come on. Yeah, I know. You know. 
he left you, you know. It seems like every guy I get walks all over talking to me, and I'm done. Today, it's done. It's over. I'm no longer, it's no longer happening. No promise that. And I ain't let no girl walk all over talking to me either. That's done, too. Let's bring out your ex-boyfriend, your boyfriend, and you say he's the father of this baby that you just had. Let's bring out Dan. First off, first off, you're a damn liar, because uh, when Thank we first you. got uh, together back in 2008, you told me you was pregnant. So uh, Daniel, the only we thing sent him the pictures because we had to send pictures saved on our phone. Was that I was pregnant because I thought I was. Do you believe the baby that she had a month ago is your child? Uh, I think he's I mean, in I between. Do, I thought she was sleeping with, cheating around on me. Right. Um, you were with her first. Yes, sir. And you broke up with her to be with her. Yes, sir. Why'd you do that? Because, uh, well, first off, she cheated on me. Did that was cheat? that. Yeah, that was the past. And we found <laughs> out about it. That was like. So you're not so sweet. No, I. Well, she I, cheated on me, so forever. instead of cheating on her, I left her and found right. somebody else. And so you said you cheated on me. It's over. Yeah. You went with her, and why'd you break up with her? Uh, I just. I broke up with him. Why'd you break up with him? Because he thinks he's Mr. Big Badass, and he's not. Oh. Do you think and you don't you're think Mr. You Big are Badass? Felicia? I uh, am not. badass. No. Okay, we'll see. I about that. Trust and believe, then why you run from me? We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, when you bring your mom too. Hold my on. Mom. Hold on. I used to think that kind of too when I was like, yeah, I'm a bad guy. I'm, I'm uh. But once I became a father, then I realized what's important, you know? Like, I got little kids, you know? And then I go home to them, worry about them. Worried about all this other stuff? Look at that little guy. You got a beautiful little guy there, you know? Who looks exactly like you, by the way. <laughs> um, Steve, if this is baby, we will, I will make sure he um, pays his child support. If you I won't find make out sure he's not nothing because you ain't about to be there. I will be around that kid. I will be around that kid. Can't keep me away from that baby. That's going to be my stepson. If he's no, going to cheat on me, yeah, no, it will. Don't say that. Hold on. Oh, you yeah, it will. Do you, listen, the insanity doesn't stop on this thing. You're not even married. Yeah, You're... I know, but can she keep me away from him? If it's my boyfriend's oh my. baby? Yeah, but wait, hold on. And I'll, I guess that's your mother in the audience. Your mother's in the audience. The point is, you're not married. You're 19 that. years old. You have a history of breaking up. You're going to make this great leap of faith that if it is his baby, you are going to be his stepmom? No. Well, maybe if we get married one day, I got time, news he's for not you. And he can be a changed And maybe man. if I grow a full head of hair, I'll be Fabio. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Do you hope that you're the father? And nobody's going to, if you say no, nobody's going to be mad at you. I mean, yeah, I do. You do hope yes, you're sir. the father. Okay. Get over it. You did not get over it. Have you ever cheated on her since you got back together with her? Have you, have you cheated on her with her? Oh, no. 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 OK. I don't want him. I don't. Don't want you. nothing to do I with him, you. for real. I believe you. Um, you took a lie detector test before the show, and you were asked, did Felicia tell you around 2008 that you were the father of a baby she, she had? You answered yes. And the results are you told the truth. I just said that. Did Felicia tell you that a family member traded the baby for drugs? You answered yes. Subject told the truth. <laughs> and this is the big one for you. Since you got back together with Heather, have you had any sexual contact with Felicia? And he answered no. And the results for that question is, Daniel told the truth. And we gave you two That's tests, awesome. and you passed them both. Um, um, so the real important question is, 
whether you're the father, okay? That's what's important here. Um, how long do you plan on being with her? I mean, I love her. I mean, I want to be with her, but I mean, she just can't let him trust me. I mean, there ain't no point in being with somebody if you can't trust me. Yes, not when you them. leave me every time I turn around, Dan. Well, I mean, I don't know. Dan, be honest. When where you do you spend most of your time at? Be honest. Where do you spend most of your time at? What's it called, the big word? No, be honest. Don't lie. No, no where do I spend most of my time? Where do you spend most of your time in jail? A majority of my relationship you have spent in jail. Don't even lie. Yeah, okay. I know you're trying to change your that life. That goes but... back to, I'm your father. Why are you dating this guy then? Yeah. I don't know. I just died. <laughs> Daniel, you are daddy. And what, Dan? Now you're gonna get a job and help me out? Yeah. Or you're gonna sit on your ass some more? You gotta man up and get you a job. And stop well, sitting on your ass. I got a job. Then why, why don't you go um, to work then? What do you what do you want to say to her? I just uh I just wish we could get along and like when I do call her and try to talk to her about things, she, all she wants to do is because nag you and got this hang bit. Up. You got okay. hurt and um, you know this is gonna be a tough situation. There's no way around it. Um, do you wanna go back with me and talk to your girlfriend? Um, yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's go talk to her. <laughs> You know, you've hurt me for the rest of my life, and I don't know if I can go on like this anymore. I think I'm gonna get sick. You know, Heather, the fact yeah. of it is, I, I don't know if the show's about you and Dan. It's more like Dan and the baby. Yeah, I you know. know, but it hurts. I know it hurts, but my God, honey, you, you know, have some, you know, have some backbone here and say, you know what? I'm tired of you treating me like this. I'm tired of you getting drunk and being mean to me. I'm tired of being drunk and violent. I'm tired of you going to jail. I'm tired of you not working. I'm tired of, you know, blah, 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 blah. All those things he just said I am. Okay. I'm tired. If you're really sick of that kind of treatment, stand up and say, you're never going to treat me this way again, and march out that door. You're never going to treat me this way again. Do you think you can change it, Dan? What, what do you think I need to change? I think you need to stop drinking. I don't want to be, I'm not putting myself back out there to be hurt again, okay? I think you just need to learn to trust me. And if you can't, then yeah, fine. Yeah, maybe if you I'll, can, I'll, if you don't hide things from me. I don't hide things. Yeah, I love you I'm with all my you heart, be but me. I'm not going to sit here. If you can't trust me, then we don't need to go. But uh, yeah, I want to be with you, and hopefully we can work things out. If not, then so be it. I do want to work it out, Dan, if you can change. I mean, if you can slow down on the drink and if you can stop hiding things from me. Well, yeah, I've told you this before. Person, before we even came here, I told you this. Okay. I love you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too.